Good morning, everyone. A quick video on the filter relocation kit that I'm starting, just to give you a bill of materials here. So this is a eight by 24 inch, 16 gauge uh, piece of sheet stock steel. This is what I'll be building the brackets and the guard out of. Uh, we have the R12T filter assembly. Uh, this filter assembly comes with the filter itself as well as uh, two straight 5 16 barbs fittings, two uh, plugs, and some Teflon tape. Um, I also ordered a ball valve uh, that I can put on the input side to the filter if I want to shut the fuel line off. That would replace uh, one of these barbed fittings going into the filter. I also ordered two 90 degree 5 16 barb fittings and these two barb fittings here uh, swivel I don't know if I'll be able to do it with one finger but uh, the barb fitting actually can swivel without leaking uh, on the on the threaded connection uh, I have also got two 5 16 barb to barb Connectors that will allow us to tap right in to where the existing fuel filter is. Uh, 25 feet of 5 16 fuel line. It's a fuel line hose clamp kit. Uh, I needed this for shop stock. It was just the way I choose to get it. You don't need, obviously, to buy this whole kit. I then got two packs of Electroduck. Uh, I've used this before on automotive restoration projects. Um, this is the two inch, and I also ordered, uh, this is the one and a half inch. Um, you'll see this on your Kubota tractor. This is for abrasion uh, resistance for hose. And I'll be using this to put the, the fuel lines into. Uh, it's just a great way to make a professional installation and to protect your, your fuel or hydraulic or, for that matter, any hose from, a, from abrasion or damage. And then last but not least, I ordered the matching uh, charcoal gray Rust-Oleum. And if needed, I also got the Kubota Orange. So we should have everything we need, uh, bill of material, parts to start this filter relocation project. Let me know if you have any questions.